What is going on, guys? Grave here. Today, I'd like to talk about the best class setup for the MCW after the most recent update. Before I get into all the details, be sure to check out everything down in the description, the community discord, my Twitter, and of course, if you enjoy the video, hit the like button. If you have not subscribed to the channel yet, I hope you consider subscribing. I have two different classes for you here that I really have been enjoying in the game. I now have been tweaking these kind of like always. I tweak a lot of my weapon classes kind of as updates change. And kind of as, you know, I'm playing, I find something maybe different that I like. But before I get into the exact, you know, attachments and things, I have been running the Assassin's Vest since it was released, you know, with Season 1. The course is immune to enemy, uh, you know, radar and things like that. So you don't even have to move to use this, uh, to use this kind of like the old school ghost. So you have to stop, you know, if you're running around, reload, call on the kill streak. You don't have to worry about showing up on the radar. Also, Kills do not display skulls, which is another thing I really like about this. Just kind of been testing this vest to see if I like it better than some of the other ones that I had been running uh, before Season 1. When it comes to my secondary, I always run the Renetti, one of my favorite uh, secondaries in the game. I really do like this one. And, of course, I'm running the Monolithic Suppressor, uh, the MK2 Long Barrel, the Slate Reflector, the 30-round mag, and the Bruin MG89 Trigger. When it comes to my tactical and lethal, these are all going to be personal preference. I use the stun grenade and Simtex. Then I use the marksman gloves, covert sneakers, and EOD padding. Now, the marksman gloves, I kind of change this up on some maps. Uh, you know, I may run scavenger or the assault gloves. Um, the marksman gloves, I, I kind of like with sniper rifles, marksman rifles, ARs. The flinch difference with these seems to be a lot stronger if you're using like a sniper. You can really tell the, a big difference when using a sniper rifle and using the marksman gloves. But when it comes to ARs at a distance, uh, that's kind of where I like them uh, to be used. Is if I'm going to kind of hold, you know, some angles, uh, you know, at a distance, or if I'm playing Dom or, or hard point or something where I'm kind of in the back of the map, just kind of controlling, you know, different capture points. Uh, that's where I like to use these. If not, if I'm playing more aggressive, I use the assault gloves. If it's one of those games where I feel like I'm going to need ammo, if it's a larger map, I will use the scavenger gloves. Now, when it comes to the class setup itself, um, the first class, of course, is my silence class. We're going to go with the SL uh, heavy barrel, which is going to give you the recoil control, aim down, uh, aim, aiming idle sway, excuse me, gun kick control, of course, the cons are movement speed, sprint speed, sprint to fire, and aim down sight. Next thing we're going to go with here, of course, is the Shadow Strike Suppressor. You could use the uh, Spitfire, but it does make the handling a little bit worse than it already is with all the rest of the things I have here on the setup, so that's why I go with the Shadow Strike Suppressor. Then I go with the 40-round mag. I have ran the 60-round, and if you would like to, you definitely can. It just makes the movement way too slow, in my opinion, if I'm moving around the map. And, of course, with a suppressed setup, not being able to, you know, show the skulls up on the map after I've killed enemies uh, with that new vest on, that's why I decided to go with the 40-round mag because I don't want to be really slow And if I run up on, you know, enemies, you know, coming around a corner or something like that. Then, of course, I go with the RB Claw a PSL grip, which is going to give you the firing, aiming, stability, gun kick control, and recoil control. And then last but not least, I go with the RB Regal Heavy Stock, which is recoil control, gun kick control, and tack stance spread. Uh, now, this is going to be a bit of a slower class in a way, but the recoil control is absolutely uh, pretty much perfect. You're, not, you're going to see... If you hold down the trigger, you're pretty not you're you're not going to be. Or if you hold down the trigger and you know you're using your uh, thumbstick to pull down on that recoil just a bit, you're not going to have a whole lot of recoil even at a distance. You can kill people pretty easy anywhere on the map. Now, of course, like I said, if you're going to run up on players, you're going to be a little bit slower to ADS. So you always could adjust this if you wanted to change a few things to make it a little bit snappier. But overall, in this game, time to kill is a little bit longer. Most people are kind of, you know, ADS anyway, or, you know, pre-aiming where they're going. So, in my opinion, it's not that bad. Uh, unless, you're, like I said, you're just running and gunning and never really aiming down sight until you get right up on someone. So, like I said, you could adjust it for that. But, like I said, overall, it is a very good class. I really enjoyed running this. And, of course, some people may want to change out something for a red dot sight or something like that if you do not like the iron sights. But I feel like the iron sights on the MCW, kind of those old school iron sights from the old ACR, so I don't mind them at all. Now, when it comes to the next class, we want to look at, or we're going to look at the one that I probably run the most 
at right now anyway. And that's going to be the kind of loud MCW class. Of course, this is going to have the L4R flash hider, the M uh, or the 16.5 MCW cyclone barrel, the Bruin pivot uh, grip, which in my opinion takes a lot of that recoil out of this gun with these other attachments. Then I'm going to go with the MK reflector. You can go with there with, with whatever sight that you prefer. And then the RB claw uh, grip. So this thing is going to have a lot of recoil control, and this gun is an absolute laser across the map. As you can see, it hardly moves at all. You don't really even have to put much pressure on that right stick if you're using a controller to kind of level that vertical recoil out. This thing is an absolute laser beam, and it does very well. And if you're a fan of you know, not using a suppressor, you like to run around with your weapons loud, I would definitely give this one a go. If you wanted to change this class up particularly for something maybe for a little bit more speed, you always could drop that Bruin heavy grip and go with something like a stock like the X10 Phantom 5. It gives you a little bit more sprint to fire, a little bit more aim down sight. You're going to lose a little bit of accuracy and a little bit of recoil control. It's not going to be a lot, but if you're looking for something where you can kind of just post up, uh, you know, like I said, if you're playing hardpoint, domination, team deathmatch, whatever the case may be, you're just kind of patrolling certain areas. You're not just running and gunning from one end of the map to the other. You're pretty much a you're pretty much a walking turret with this setup because this thing is pinpoint accurate. Anyway, guys, let me comment your thoughts. Let me know what you think about these two classes. Let me know what your favorite MCW you know kind of setup is right now down in the comment section. And I'll catch you all next time. Peace.